안녕하십니까? 마사코스 라텔 어프로치 Hello, this is Mass Course uh, Director Kim Jingu, and today I'm going to talk about lateral approach last kit. So let's start with the introduction. You, we first have to understand what last kit is, and uh, last time you, we looked at conventional method. That using piezo and other approaches do exist, but besides that, more accurate, precise, and more convenient um, uh, way of uh, doing lateral approach with instruments uh, was thought about, and this last kit was developed. This is for, in other words, for advanced ostomy technique, and not for everything. But as op making window is challenging. Uh, this kit was uh, developed to make uh, that uh, part easier. So this is the setup of last kit. So there are dome drills and also this yellow core drills. And more details, uh, let's look at them. So in case of dome drill, there is rounded uh, a tip, so it grinds out the bone, so it's optimized for a grind out technique, and core drill is for the wall off technique. And also, what is important is like casket, uh, there are s these stopper systems, so when making lateral window, um, you can have it a uh, safe uh, lateral approach. So on the panel, like this, you have carriers. And when you do the sinus surgery, the lateral uh, approach kit, uh, the curate others are here. So with just this kit, you can do the surgery and the two end. So there are two functions of last kit. First, you have dome drill and also core drill. So let's look at the dome drill first. This actually grind out window. So this is grind out technique to create window and core drill, which is more often used. It creates bone lid to make window and then repositions the bone lid uh, lid again with this kit. So in case of dome drill on the tip, it's round and the blade is at the side. So with that, they grind away the window to have access. And like this, like casket, on the outer side, there is force, uh, but in the inside, it's a weak force for cutting, so it creates bone knit, and this bone knit with the uh, blocks out to come into contact, and chip is uh, attached to the blade, and the blade is rather dull, so it doesn't really um, damage the uh, uh, maxillary side. And perpendicular approach, of course, the wall, would it be grinded? Well, of course not, because the blade force is stronger here, so it's better to have an oblique approach for cleaner uh, detachment. So again, please be mindful to use oblique approach uh, to have more safe and convenient uh, usage. Now, uh, this is the dome drill, and uh, after using it inside, there will be chips. So the sinus uh, membrane, it's safe, and it goes through, I pushed it, but there is no perforation. So it's a very uh, safe way of using it with dome drill. But then what is why dome drill? In the beginning, you, if you cut with dome drill, the, and you would know there is a vibration, and you feel by, uh, it's hard to make the whole entire wall while feeling the vibration. So when there is hole, expands uh, the hole with the wide dome drill, like this. This is round, but here it's more angular, meaning the cutting power, it can be expanded, and you can uh, push to the side, and um, it will still operate very safely and smoothly. So you use dome drill first, and after the creating the window, you expand the window using the wide uh, drill. And then you have this core drill, and as I said before, it's for wall-off technique. 
like this, you make window and the dome drill creates this core and this area, this round area, the, the, the bone uh, disappears, the ring side, and if you take only the core out, then it becomes very convenient to the wall of uh, technique. So it's a very uh, convenient uh, instrument. So the bones is stuck there and it's very hard to remove them. So it's uh, special, there's an instrument to take them out. I'll talk about that later. And round the blade, it's angular uh, tip. So when there is a sinus membrane here, uh, the cutting power is not that strong to tear it. So it's like cast drill uh, in terms of uh, properties. So core drill, again, uh, please be mindful to do oblique approach to for easier cutting and safety. Another important thing is that there is a stopper system. We love casket because when you use casket with stoppers, uh, of course, even if good tactile sense, Sometimes you see, are still exposed to perforation, but with the stopper, thankfully we can use it uh, safely. And in this case, there is also stopper system, but unlike CAS, it's wi uh, wider. So it's a stopper that is incompatible and the wall thickness being five to 10, you know, you don't have this uh, people, mostly it's one to two uh, millimeters of wall thickness. So from 0 0.5 up to three millimeters is the size of the stopper system. So by it's color coded, and when you use them, always it's uh, advanced by 0 0.5, and like cast drill, uh, you uh, the protruding by this number, so it only preserved by 0 0.5. So don't get confused. Like cast drill. This only up to the sides is protruded to the outside. It's the convenient way to memorize them. And also there is a side wall drill. And this one, like dome drill or core drill, after opening up, there is this thin area and it's very sharp edge. And it has a difficulty of accessibility for instrument. Uh, so this sharp area, you have to smooth them out. And for that, using round burr, uh, you cannot do that. So for convenience, in the shank area, uh, we make them to cut out. So indeed, a tip is patent. So you uh, use this cutting blade to cut them. So here you can use stopper also for safety. And this is not, the size is same as casket, not last kit, uh, because the size is smaller. So it's uh, safer to use them. And here, again, this is for smoothing of the widening of the sinus wall. Now, sidewall drill uses the casket stopper. Please be mindful of that. And after using core drill, there is a bones filling inside and it cannot be removed easily. So, so to remove them, we use bone separator as an instrument. So in this grooved area, it's a level principle used and you push it and it will uh, easily come out. Then let's look at how actually these drills are um, operated. First, uh, let's see how the dome drill can be used. Now in this, in the kit, you have two sizes and which one uh, you have to determine. But personally, I prefer the 7.0. Uh, so let's look at them and 1.5 stubber. So every 0 0.5 advancement for usage, again, be mindful of that. And once you have the window using the wide uh, dome drill, you expand them further and then use side wall drill. Then like this. S let's see it step by step. First, you open flap with incision, and let's say the wall thickness is about two millimeters, and we use dome drill. So first, seven millimeter size dome drill, and then I attach one millimeter of stopper. On the CT, the thickness is two millimeters, so why one millimeter like cast? Uh, you have to under drill by 0 0.5 at least. Uh, and uh, use the stopper and take them out. And like this, you would have a hole inside. But 
the you have not uh, grafted uh, cut uh, even half of the bone so it will be not translucent and again 1.5 uh, stopper and use on the same area and removed it and it has accessed further and then change to 2.0 stopper and push further in and you would feel a membrane you will see it's pushing more closer to the sinus and this uh, will be the bone lid area the white area it doesn't come in that direct context so it's safer so it has a translucency there and then you see a lot of bone chips of, uh, attached here after that using wide dome drill you expand the uh, area so using the wide dome drill you expand uh, to the sideways to expand the window sides on the uh, sideways and on the margin area the, using the side wall drill here the um, sharp area you cut it down to make it dull and ex enlarge that uh, making the window larger and after that you would have this type of large window and then as a conventional practice uh, as in conventional lateral approach you use the curette for detachment and then you drill then you place the implant and here you could uh, 3.5 final drill, 4.0 implant, uh, and you need to under drill because it's a maxillar sinus area, and then you place the implant, and in this site, actually, you fill with the bone graft material, and you could leave it at B, uh, but as I said, this area, it's better to cover it uh, with a membrane for protection, and then you close the flap. So last kit is not for all uh, sinus surgery, but uh, for the maxillary sinus, when you make window, it's uh, making it the process easier. Please remember that. Then let's look at how you can use core drill. Uh, core drill, the diameter, you have 7 and 5.5, two sizes, and I prefer 7.0. And again, using the stopper, um, you extend, expand step by step. And like this, on the inside, you uh, leave the core and you cut out by line. And uh, so the advantage is they can be used for wall off technique. And for core drill, in the beginning, again, two millimeters thickness of the lateral wall on the maxillary side. You can uh, use the last kit procedure with core drill. So you again, 1.0 a millimeter of under drilling. So use one uh, millimeter of stopper with core drill. Then 1.5 again forward by 0 0.5, and then here like this, you will see some hues uh, in the inside, and. The thickness is not uniform, so there might be some inconsistency. So check with your eyes. Then 2.0 drill, it, it will be used. Then and there will, sometimes it comes out together, but mostly it's still inside there. And then, um, you know, you do fix some uh, process. And if it goes out together, you remove the bone particles. And then you use on the inside using the lever principle the core can be removed and again as a conventional practice you do detachment and then you uh, elevate membrane and again you use guide for drill and then twister you go through this step so 4.0 uh, implant placement but it's better stop with 3.0 so drill if you have a lot of residual bones or if the bone quality is good then of course you can uh, rarely also use 4.0 drill but with the lateral approach, place the imprint if possible, it's better to under drill. And so you fill with the bone material, conventional practice, place the implant, and you know, control the depth, it's close with cover screw. But here, and with the core drill, no, excuse me, with the dome drill, it's all grinded out. So there's nothing to cover. So, uh, so for protection, you put a membrane. But with the core, the reposition can be done easier, which means you, membrane might not be necessary for protection purposes. Then in using last kit, what are the considerations? Let's look at the actual case. So here, 
view, there is a V-shaped and it's the most favorable uh, situation for using last kit. There's not much residual bone, so we do lateral approach, do vertical incision, and expose the area. And here, we used core drill with the 1.5 stopper, then 2 uh, millimeter stopper, you drill, then you uh, remove the core, then you see the membrane inside, and slightly here, there's a bit of damage, but fortunately, there's no perforation. So you remove the bone lid, and sinus membrane is easily detached without perforation, and use the sidewall drill uh, to clean out the area for the ease of the operation, and then you do bone graft, and you do repositioning. Then you place the implant and suture it up. And post-op, there's low residual bone for crestal approach. Then you have to do lateral approach, but there are uh, T's on both sides. There, there is also septum. Uh, window cannot be really big. Then in that such a case, uh, it, this, it will be a good option to use. So like this before and after, and after five months, months follow-up, the lateral approach area, there is a bone formation that's quite ideal. So depending on the shape and conditions, you could use round bar, or uh, you could o have overlap of uh, different uh, windows. So if one window cannot do, then, and if it challenges anatomical conditions, then uh, you could, uh, you know, apply uh, different things to make it easier. Like if you want to make it oval or wide, then two overlap with last kit. Then if you uh, cut it off, if it's one too small, then you overlap the two to make it wider. And one thing you need to remember is that when you use dome drill, especially, the window will be disappear. And I said repositioning should be done. But if it cannot be protected, bone material might disappear, or it might be tricky in terms of bone formation. So always, if there is an or if there's grind it out, it's better to cover it with the membrane. And that is the conventional theory. And in this literature, it also says that after lateral approach, covering with membrane versus no uh, membrane coverage, there is difference in success rate. And also here in this uh, paper also, using membrane versus no membrane, again, there is a difference in success rate. So especially using last kit and dome drill, you did uh, grinded out wall, then it's better to cover with membrane. So there are this type of advantages. When you use burr, sometimes it goes too much in and might touch membrane. And so it doesn't look like there is a tear, but it becomes very vulnerable um, so in condition. So burr intrusion that was unexpected. Uh, so we have to prevent that. So for safety, um, uh, using last kit would be much better. But of course, as I said before, uh, in during operation, there's always risk of perforation. So if you are not really comfortable with surgery yet, then using last kit might be better to protect yourself from this type of risks and perforation. That's uh, what I think. So with that, I would like to end my lecture on last kit. More details will be available through my offline lecture. Thank you very much.